Hi folks, Justin Woolgar here again and tonight I'm going to show you another radio project that I've been working on and this is another linear amplifier, it's an RF amplifier uh, using a uh, Russian valve this time, you may recall that we did the um, uh, 813 linear amplifier a few months ago and this is a similar type of thing but employs a, uh, a Russian triode, a GS35B uh, this is a little bit more powerful than the um, previous amplifier that I built. I'm just going to go show you um, the insides of it and what it's all about. So we'll start off at the back here and that's the actual valve and you can see there's a big copper heat sink there. I mean this valve um, has got a plate dissipation of about 1500 watts and um, it's it's quite, uh, quite a powerful triode. Moving to the back there we've got um, plate choke and that's the uh, aerial changeover relay and moving down this is the um, main tank coil and over there we have the band changeover switch and at the back you can also see some padding what they call padding capacitors which um, add extra capacitance to the tank circuit the um, just zooming in on the um, other part of the tank coil there which is for the 160 and 160 and 80 meter bands and um, that's not um, wound on a, on a copper coil like the uh, uh, the main one there this is um, actually wound on some uh, ferrite uh, cores um, which adds to the inductance and uh, we're using teflon coated wire there to help um, with the insulation and also the heat and down here I've got a couple of vacuum capacitors which are very high voltage um, which is what you really need for an amplifier like this. Uh, the front panel and the chassis, this, most of the um, parts including the chassis actually came out of the junk box. This, this chassis was actually from some sort of aircraft test unit and um, um, a lot of the pieces in this amplifier are all uh, surplus believe it or not. Um, the, the parts of the new are obviously the valve and um, the, um, the blower which is at the back there um, which is quite important for a valve like this because it needs quite a lot of cooling air. So what I'm going to do is I'll, um, I'll show you the, uh, the, the, the underside of the, um, the rig and you can have a look at all the electronics there. show you the underneath and it looks quite complicated but I'll just show you the, um, the important parts that are worth uh, looking at. At the top there is our voltage divider um, for, the, multi for the, uh, the meters. We've got a um, plate transfer, um, a heater filament transformer there, it's just 12 volt transformer and the transformer behind it is a just a standard 12 volt transformer um, to operate all the relays. We've got a few other bits and bobs there which are for the um, uh, few, uh, power supply and voltage regulators and then down here at the bottom is the um, triode control board and that um, uh, was initially designed by uh, GM3 SEK, um, he produces the board and you just, you just have to source the components and you can build that up and it's quite a nifty little um, triode control board has all the safety features um, which um, and also incorporates the bias biasing uh, control of the valve. Um, down the corner here this is our uh, Pi input network which um, is switchable with relays um, um, for the uh, input uh, for the uh, amplifier. Um, the rest of it is just loads of wires um, which um, joins everything up together and that's really about it. There's not an awful lot to it, it looks complicated but um, it's all done in sections and um, so far it all seems to work. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a quick uh, demonstration so we'll just pause it for a minute. Okay, so I powered the, the uh, amplifier up, and as you can see, we've got about uh, about uh, three kV, just under three kV uh, for the uh, plate voltage, 
uh, this actual uh, power supply um, produces about um, 2.7 um, the rig's got some lights in it so they can see where all the position of the vac caps are um, otherwise I've no idea of the tuning positions so um, I've set it all up and um, we're into a uh, dummy load over there and um, what I'll do is we'll, um, we'll apply some drive from the transceiver and we'll see what, how many watts we get out. Now this transceiver only produces about 85 watts max and uh, at the moment it's probably producing about, about that. So if we keep an eye on the bird meter, which is the power, and, and we should see, hopefully, when I um, transmit, the, we should be getting about, um, uh, about uh, just under a kilowatt out. So, apply some RF into the amplifier and see what happens. So that's um, about 900 watts. So there we have it, that's um, GS35B linear amplifier. Thanks for watching.